Yeah, and while I'm off the road taking a quick rest and re uh, refuel, probably a great idea to use the Scott's big table, big square, and I'm gonna square these blocks all the way down to 12 and a half now before we can put them back together. Hey folks, it's Rob Appel from So Well at Stitch in Heaven on YouTube, and I'm uh, just taking a little, actually it was a, a rest day, a travel day, a fun day with my good friend Scott Hansen, Blue Nickel Studios, and that's where I'm standing right now is in Blue Nickel Studios. And I apologize, I have no microphone. Uh, I'm not in uniform officially, I'm in my day off shirt. But I have an opportunity here as I'm prepping for the next video where I'm working on Charisma's quilt, which is the summer camp quilt I've been filming outdoors. I have all of the blocks ready here, folks. Um, but I've also often asked, how do you square up blocks? And I realize there's gonna be a couple of great opportunities. So I'm just gonna shoot an impromptu video. I hope this helps. I uh, hope I can edit it down into something terrific for everybody. Uh, I'm not going to apologize for not having anything with me. It's my day off. But like I said, I'm enjoying quilting as I do all the time. And I just think that I might be able to share something awesome with you here. So let's give this a try. Let's see how this goes. So the first block, and this is why I thought to do the video, is the tent block. The tent block has a seam straight up the middle. The blocks are going to be squared to 12 and a half. So I've put six and one quarter straight up the middle seam. And you can see I have a little bit around here. And then the next thing that's important to me is gonna be the quarter inch up here and chopping off the little extra that's down here. So I'm accounting for those also in my 12 and a half inch square as I start to prepare to cut the first and then the second side off of it. Then we'll rotate the block and we'll cut the bottom and the other side off of our tent. So first lesson is look for something dead center, a seam that you can then calculate whatever measurements you need in all your directions from taking into account what could end up becoming lost in a quarter inch seam allowance. Hope that helps a little bit. And now I'm just gonna find my 12 and a half and my 12 and a half corner because those are the square cuts. And I will, once again, trim, shave, sliver, whatever is left over. With that, okay? So that's the first one. That's the tent block. Oop, now I'm tidying up as I go. Of course, that's what I like to do. So I squared that one off the beginning, the center seam, and went ahead and set up that way. So on a block like this, it's a little bit more of a squared out patchwork. You can see I'm just, again, centering the square within that middle perimeter. Uh, this one, I'm working for a 12 and a half inch square again, and then I'm very happy to see that some of these are hanging out below uh, the markers as our 12 and a half inch. So a lot of that line is going to be squared out, uh, looking at the tips. So this one, uh, even though the block is a bit wonky, I'm going to try to make sure it stays square and leaves the tips uniformly hitting the seam allowances, even if I have to chop a little bit of the tips off. Again, just uh, cutting two sides first. Then rotating, rotating. And now just to find that bottom corner, which would be the 12 and a half, 12 and a half inch mark for this particular squaring. And I see as I get over here, this is really cool back to these tips. I want those tips to say somewhat squared. I can see that I can rotate. It means I'll cut again, but a better uniform looking block is much more important than the few extra minutes you may spend, right? Getting it that way. So now that's my primary cut. And now you can see the tips 
even though they've been sliced a bit, they're all sliced a bit the same, uniform. The small tree's block seems to be a little bit um, more, has a little more extra around it. So again, I'm gonna find that tip of the trees and I can kind of center the extra within at six and a quarter here to get a 12 and a half inch square block and just trimming both sides, any of the excess fabric that hangs over there. Rotate again. And then finding the bottom corner, lining up at 12 and a half, 12 and a half. I did not trim any of the early patchwork. Everything was just kind of done raw as I was going on the road, sewing on the road. So now I'm doing the trimming. I'm glad to see that many of the blocks were pretty close to accurate. And any that are, most of them are a little bit large versus too small. You never really want to deal with the too small ones. That gets scary. But if you do, you could always add some sashing around it and then uh, rebuild, build out your background colors or something. And last but not least, we're going to look at the campfire block. And the campfire block was made with a bunch of little quarter square triangles. And fortunately, it's much larger than necessary. So it's going to be real easy to trim as well. Let me show you. Once again, I'm just going to kind of find a center seam. And again, we're looking for a six and a half, excuse me, six and a quarter inch mark for, through our center seam because we're making a 12 and a half inch block. And you can see that that's hanging way over necessary on the sides. I'll be able to trim. So I also want to make sure that my lines are running as parallel to my seams. I always have extra over the cut lines when possible. That's going to be an easy trim. And perfect at 12 and a half inch square. Love it. Thanks, Scotty. I appreciate that, bud. Better not leave that behind, though. Loving that new cutter. Okay, folks, I'm really hoping this video has turned out and helped everybody. I've got all my blocks cut. I've rested up. I'm refueled. I've been well fed. Thank you, Linda and Scott. I've got a nice hot shower behind me. And I'm hitting the road tomorrow, getting back outdoors to finish up the quilt blocks and uh, make my way off to the quilt designer and quilter herself. See if I can get this thing long arm quilted while I'm out here on the road. Awesome. I really, really am excited. I'm glad I thought to shoot this kind of uh, impromptu tutorial. I hope it works out. I hope it looks okay. Thanks everybody. And thanks again for being with me on the road. This has been so much fun. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. It really helps support our channel. If you haven't subscribed, do so now. Hit the little button to be notified every time we go live or do a new video for all of you. And here's one from the past I think you'll really enjoy.